Can I catch fish on this 40 year old fishing reel? We're about to find out. Hello YouTube and welcome back to Who's Your Back Outdoors. I'm so glad you clicked on this video. We have got a special treat for you today. I got this fishing reel back in the winter. It's a Johnson Skipper 125. Now, doing some research, I found out that these reels were made in the 1970s. There's, there's some that are much older than this, but this is when they first started making them with a few plastic parts. And I found this on Facebook Marketplace actually last winter bought it from the guy for just a couple of dollars and last night i got to working on this little reel got all the parts cleaned up real good got it back into working order and i put it on a rod and tried a few casts with it and it works really really good so we're going to take it today and see if this 40 plus year old fishing reel can still catch some fish today we're going to take it maybe put a bobber and a worm on and we're going to see if we can catch something with it and we're going to take you with us so stick with us to see how this old reel works out we made it down here to the ponds and man it's it's hard to come down here and not want to throw some top water so I might just throw some top water for a minute before we get into this old reel I've got the whopper plopper on one of my poles and I think I'll throw it for a minute <laughs> this is just how excited I get I almost started fishing without putting my chest camera on Oh goodness. Yeah, this, uh, these kind of mornings get me excited. We'll run right over here down this edge and see if anything's biting. Oh, I 
hope so. That would be so cool. Look here, there's one flopping out there already. There is a big turtle right there. <laughs> Can you see that? Stuck his nose up. Might be that one I caught a couple of a couple of weeks ago. And he's not even moving. There he went under. He's coming up here closer. I'm not sure what he's trying to do. See him right there? Down in the water, right at the... At the spot where my head is on the shadow. Now he's going back out. Okay, let's try something else. I am gonna rig this old Johnson up. I'm gonna rig this old Johnson up with a bobber and a sinker. <laughs> Look at this cool old thing. Pretty cool. Pretty neat looking little reel. I cleaned it up best I could last night. I put it on this old Shakespeare Durango pole that I have it's just a cheap one medium action six foot <laughs> I love it love this old reel and I already got it twisted up on the end what in the world how did I do that Let's see if we can get it untangled here we go. we've got a two ounce weight on it now if you notice the casting Works really, really good. Reeling it in. Works really good. Wonder how far we can get the cast. Wow, it'll go way out there. <laughs> Hope I can get all this back in. Not a very fast reel, but if you're just fishing at the creek or something, wouldn't need much. Got some twist in the line. All right, we got us a night crawler on there. Let's toss it out there and see how it does. Get it right out there. Yeah. That'll work. Not enough weight on there. I may just rig up this other pole I have with a night crawler on it. Well again we'll toss it over this way a little bit well let's reset this pole here in fact we'll just go over here to a different spot we'll try it right over here i think there just might be a bluegill over here we got it set pretty deep All right, I've tied on this new Guggen Bait slipless crankbait. I think this is their crawl pattern. Pretty sure of it. We'll throw this around a little bit while we're letting that while we're letting that bobber and knot crawler soak. Oh boy, too far. Nope. Thank <laughs> you. 
there's one. <laughs> he come up at the last minute and hit that. Wow, little bitty guy. Let's see if I can get these hooks out without hurting myself. Well, that's the first bass I've caught off the Guggenbait's lipless crankbait. I mean, he's a little feller, but he wanted it. Well, I don't know if we're going to get a fish off this or not. There's a bite. Come on, take it. Come on, let's end this video in style. We got him. <laughs> oh, and he let go. Oh my goodness. We had him for just a moment. See if there's, oh, there's already some more there wanting it. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Finally. Finally. Catching fish with a 40 year old reel. That's pretty cool. <laughs> wow. Let's see if there's another one in there real quick. See, now that got me pumped. That little tiny bluegill got me pumped. Makes me want to throw in and catch another one. We'll readjust our worm here. All right. All right. Let's, let's throw it in there and get another one. And close enough. We'll see if that works. That's where I got a bite. There we go. There we go. There's another bite. One more fish. One more fish. And we'll call it a day. It's too close. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Hey, there's one. Got another one. Got another one. Oh my. This is a nice one. <laughs> this is a nice bluegill. That's pretty awesome. Nope. That there's a red ear. I've never caught a red ear out of here. I know they're in here, but I've never caught one. What a nice red ear. Wow, he's, he's long. Look at that. Long as my hand. Pretty cool. Nice little red ear. Sweet. Now, if you're watching this video yourself, you're probably a fisherman, or you like to fish, or fishing's your thing, you know, something. Today I ran into a fisherman's problem, and if you fished any at all in the late summer, early fall, you've probably dealt with this same thing. Check this out. That is my pants leg and my shoes. Covered covered in cuckle burrs. <laughs> That's crazy. Remember, if you like these kind of videos, I'll put two more videos here that you're going to enjoy on the screen. Go check those out as well. We appreciate you coming with us today. We had a lot of fun and caught a few fish. We'll see you next time, but until next time, get out there and enjoy the outdoors. We'll see you guys later.